Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's official split was a long time coming. A source telling ET Ben and Jen had been miserable in their marriage for months. There's been a bigger journey than just the love story here. I think that what this signifies is that she's in control of this process. Uh, she's not going to be bound by Ben. She's not going to be bound by her attorneys. This is her fourth divorce, so this is not a new process to her. JLo filing the divorce papers herself just days ago. Our source adding they both felt frustrated in their relationship, a stark contrast from the early days of their rekindled romance, which turned out was, quote, more of an infatuation on both ends. What can I tell you? We're just having a good time. And it seems Benifer 2.0 began mirroring their early aughts shot at love. Ben wanted to believe that certain things had changed in their relationship, but soon felt like he had been there before. Can you see if we can get in the papers? I'm trying to get <laughs> could I, could publicity. I? Fans first suspected trouble in paradise earlier this year. A source telling ET at the time, Ben and Jen were living separate lives before realizing it was healthier for them to continue to do that. Things are about to change. Right here, right here. As for Jennifer Garner, Ben's other ex and mom to their three kids, she's supportive and glad that her co-parenting situation with Ben is in a good place. And overall, for now, the parents are focused on their children. My house is full of teens, and that is hard work. Meanwhile, divorce docs reveal there's no prenup, leaving questions over each of their nine-figure fortunes. JLo has high stakes with an estimated net worth of $400 million compared to Ben's $150 million. A couple with this amount of wealth getting married without a prenup is like doing a corporate merger with a handshake. Uh, it, you just don't do it. It doesn't make any sense. Typically, the rule for dividing assets in a divorce is that you keep what you had coming into the marriage and you divide what you accumulated during the marriage. If the house is sold as part of the divorce, it's usually not required that the court split that asset 50-50.